to sum up the day, I've been doing my first day of experiments with my second degree ethnographic fieldwork. That is, I've been doing a fieldwork in my fieldwork material and I've been working with uh, my three parameters. Parameters number one. This is about who is the one making mm, the decision about what uh, you can do and not do. The second parameter is the uh, question whether you are sitting down or standing up and today we've been sitting down we've been inside not outside the third parameter and I've been video recording while I've been sitting here on some chairs and I've been um, kind of impersonating the different pupils in the class. I've been personating three uh, ones that are having a lot of um, presence in the, f in the field recording. And I've done a fourth impersonation, which was um, where I did sort of the sounds, the noises, which you can't say who does what. You can't say who made this sound when you only have a field recording. So I have these four characters, three students and one um, like creature impersonating the noise sounds. This way I've been making this uh, video where I've combined the four clips into one. And uh, while I've been waiting, I've been watching a YouTube video with uh, Jacques Lecoq. Nous allons commencer par les masques larvaires. Donc c'est des masques blancs que vous voyez là. Pourquoi larvaires Parce que ce sont des masques qui n'ont pas encore de forme définitive et qui sont en devenir de personnages. Ils sont sur la voie des personnages, mais ils n'y sont pas encore arrivés. Alors quelques-uns commencent à être humains. Mais il y en a beaucoup qui ont aussi une direction fantastique. Hein? Voilà. Alors, on va imaginer euh, qu'on a capturé des êtres inconnus. Euh, on ne sait pas d'où ils viennent, on ne sait pas qui ils sont. Et on va les parquer dans un endroit. Et on va faire des tests sur eux pour voir comment ils réagissent. Et s'ils si sont comme nous ou s'ils ont d'autres euh, lois, euh, un autre mental. What I find inspiring by these scenes by Jacques Lecoq is the way that these creatures, these animal-like beings, are being um, nudged into doing something that these, um, these two doctors, or what they're supposed to be, are, want them to do, and the way that they are using these sticks. Um, and the reaction from these creatures, which is you don't know what they will do, but it's like they are, they are not prepared for this world into which they are being put, this uh, very concrete uh, framework uh, consisting of these four benches. 
So these uh, beings, they are not prepared for what is going to happen to them and they are being um, forced into this space and, and basically this is uh, what is ha happening in a school where you have kids that are like these creatures completely open and unprepared for what's going to happen and they gradually get to, to understand what is it that is expected from them. Now there is a second uh, part of this, it's a video on YouTube with uh, Jacques Lecoq. I want to show you just a few moments of it. So in this part, uh, Jacques Lecoq is showing to his um, class this um, piece of plastic that is unfolding according to its own physical laws and its own energy. and. Um, what I find interesting about this is that when uh, he does this um, and he, uh, what happens is that he's want, he wants to show that this is what was behind a, uh, a scenic uh, uh, work that he had been doing and uh, that was the movement of this uh, piece of, I think he used paper, whatever, but in any case this, this is uh, an inspiration uh, from a physical object um, that has its own laws and applying this to, um, to human movement is, is, is what um, he did. And I find that inspiring in the sense that um, when I am taking all the noise sounds uh, and uh, incorporating them into one uh, body that will um, respond to the um, energies of these uh, noise sounds as I've said, these noise sounds, you can't, you don't know who makes them. So we have to assume that they are there. And this is part of the collectivity of this moment that there are all these noise sounds and they are uh, somehow affecting the totality of the soundscape. And um, of course, when you're there, you can see with your eyes who does what. But and for most of the people, as they are focusing with their eyes on um, they can't see everything at, at the same time, so there will be a lot of noises that you can't actually uh, define the source from. And that, that way it makes sense to think of this noise scape as uh, something which is um, depersonalized. It doesn't come from everyone, it's anyone in specific, it comes from the totality of the interactions. Whereas compared to the voices, you will be able to identify, this is what I did with the persons. I, I was able to identify, although at times I was confused who said what, but it is possible to identify a person through the voice, the timbre of the voice. And in this respect, um, you can, in this soundscape, identify who speaks, because you can hear the differences between the voices, whereas uh, you can't. Uh, hear from the sounds, from the noisy sounds. You can hear where they come from, but you can't distinguish specifically who does, uh, who makes this specific noise sound, right? So in this sense, there is in this uh, soundscape um, of this specific classroom, there are uh, voices that are identifiable and then there are noises that are non-identifiable. And, and I, uh, what I was doing was to take these um, non-identifiable voices, uh, noises, and bringing them together in this one uh, embodiment. So here is my good friend Jack. Hello. And uh, he has yeah. been helping me by uh, bringing this, uh, what do you call that? Uh, PA? System. PA system. PA system. Yeah. The speakers here. And this amplifier here. And what does that allow me to and do? It allows you to uh, play back sound at high levels at high levels and good Very quality cool. and stereo yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. now we're black and white how does it feel to be black and white uh, it makes me feel anxious <laughs> anxious anxious let's put anxious on here <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs>